My name is Damien. I was born on the eastern part of Malaysia, known as the Borneo. I moved to Melbourne, Australia when I was 15, and then I moved to Auckland, New Zealand when I was 19, where I've been calling home for the past 8 years. Travel and aviation has always been a big part of my life, and being so fortunate to be able to train to become a professional pilot, and also be able to venture solo and travel around the world exploring has been such a privilege. In 2019, before COVID hit, I've managed to visit some of the most amazing cities that I've dreamt for my whole life. 2022 is a new beginning for me, and I also wanted to share some of my travel journey and experiences as I discover more of the world. If you haven't already subscribed, press the button right now so that you won't miss out on more content that will be coming in the future. Thank you so much in advance for watching and for subscribing. Now stop rambling and let's get back to the video. Good morning. Uh, today is my last day here in Ho Chi Minh, Saigon. Um, my flight is uh, leaving at 6. Now it's 3.30 in the morning. It's very, very early. Um, but I'm really excited because I'm going to be trying out uh, Vietnam's newest airline, Bamboo Airways. Um, I don't know a lot about them. I've never really seen much um, photos or reviews about them um, but I know they are um, quite solid uh, based on some feedback from some friends uh, living here in Vietnam so yeah I'm very excited to um, check out this newest airline here in Vietnam um, but some sad news I woke up to my uh, my multi-currency card being um, fraudulently charged so I'm not sure what's going to happen uh, luckily they don't really accept my uh, MasterCard here so I have been using my um, New Zealand credit card uh, which is a Visa but it's still going to be a problem because I do use it for ride share um, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out but hopefully um, things will just work out. I uh, just have to sort it out in the next few days. Uh, but for now, it's uh, 3.30 so I need to head over to the airport um, by 4 o'clock because check-in is going to close at 5. So um, let's get going uh, and head to the Tan Sunat Airport. Thank you. 
my flight is departing in an hour and 10 minutes so yeah i'm just going to hang around here uh, i don't think i can eat anything from those places because it's like burger king and stuff so yeah i've got a few snacks in my bag i'll have that and then i get to da Nang. Um, I have to wait for the shuttle, so the shuttle is like uh, arriving at 9.30 so I have to yeah, wait there for like 2 hours um, because my flight is arriving at like 10 past 7 so I'll yeah, probably find something to eat there, do a bit of work and then yeah, head over to the um, yeah, to the resort, which is I think about just over an hour drive from the airport. So yeah, it's a bit of a day today, um, but we'll see what else is going to happen today. Uh, but I'm excited to check out this new airline. We boarded on time as stated on the boarding pass and we took the bus to the remote stand at the very far end of the airport. It has been a while since I've done a bus boarding. Um, but yeah, we are here right now on the bus waiting to depart. It's been filled up, so I'm not sure what we are waiting for. Maybe for the aircraft. But yeah, we are just like sort of sitting here, well, standing here waiting. Um, and you can see there's a Vietnam Airlines over there. There's a Vietjet over there. I haven't spotted the bamboo yet. I'm not sure what uh, what type of aircraft they have like. Oh, I spotted one. There is one over there. But it seems to be a white body. So I'm not very sure what they are flying. Could be a 320. I would think it's a 3 320. Um, but yeah, no idea what to expect. Or yeah, what the cabin layout is like, what the seat is like. I've just like completely have no idea uh, because there's so little like reviews out there but yeah I'm excited to um, find out what bamboo is like what aircraft they are flying and the service and all those things so we'll know soon enough once we um, get on board impression um, on boarding the crew seems um, pretty friendly we are on board the a bus uh, a321 there's uh, laboratories like in the middle but I'm sitting sort of like the first half of the cabin and a lot of people are 
speaking very loudly on the phone for some reason. But yeah, the uh, sunrise is very nice. Uh, I think we are still waiting for the second batch of passengers coming in. Um, they are on a second bus, so uh, we are sort of like at the very end of the the um, the bus gate here. So I think it will just take a bit of time, but we are still pretty early. We still have about 10 minutes before the departure time, so uh, I think we should be able to um, get out of here on time if the bus is um, punctual. So we will see how it goes, but so far so good. Um, leg room is fine, it's pretty standard. Uh, the window is a bit dirty though, there's a lot of fingerprints, so uh, unfortunately I don't have um, my sanitizer, it's on the overhead locker, so I couldn't get it out to uh, clean it. So yeah, I'll have to just deal with a um, dirty window. But yeah, um, the cabin crew's uniform is pretty unique, very nice. But yeah, other than that, we are still yeah, going to be sitting here for maybe the next 15 minutes. Even though it's a very short flight, I was left impressed with the 5 star service that they provide. The professionalism and the service attitude of the crew was impeccable and it left me with a very high expectation on my next flight from Da Nang to Hanoi. On board this Airbus A321CO, the seats are very comfortable. I can see myself sitting here for a medium haul flight and there are adjustable headrests and the tray table are adjustable as well. After three days in Aung San Alangko, the resort where I was staying, I was happy to get on the road and back on Bamboo Airways. Today I will be flying 
on the Airbus A321neo from Da Nang to Hanoi. On board this flight, I was left rather disappointed. The crew was unmotivated, there was no service attitude, I wasn't greeted by the crew when boarding the aircraft. The seats were pretty thin and uncomfortable. Although it's a new aircraft, I don't see myself wanting to stay on this aircraft for longer than maybe 2 or 3 hours before my back hurts. So I was left pretty disappointed on this flight. My conclusion for Bamboo Airways is that their services are quite varied and the aircraft as well. Some days you might get very good crew and aircraft and some days you might be left hanging high and dry. Will I fly Bamboo Airways again? Probably. But I'll have to try their international route which I'll be doing on the next video and see how they perform on that flight.